Hi there, it's Chris here, and in this video, we're going through the best desktop CNC machines out there today. I've narrowed this list down to my absolute favorite five. So no matter what you're looking for, there'll definitely be something on this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. All right, as usual, I'm gonna skip the fluff and just jump right in. If you wanna confirm my recommendations, go in the description and check out that list to ensure you get the best price. All right, so the first one on the list is gonna to go to my personal favorite. It's the Janmitsu CNC 3018 Pro. So this is a machine so precise, it could probably carve my name into a single grain of rice, then tell me to piss off for asking. This is a compact three axis CNC router that's brilliant for engraving and milling all sorts of things, wood, acrylic, plastic, soft metals, PCBs, you name it. It's an upgraded version of the original 3018, which was already good, but apparently not stable enough to withstand the fury of a mildly irritated squirrel. Now it comes with a raised base, better accuracy, and fewer parts to faff about with during assembly. Perfect if you've got the patience of a caffeinated ferret. Key features, upgraded and simplified assembly, no need to position bits yourself, which is bloody good because no one wants to play CNC Jenga. Raised four centimeter base for improved stability so it doesn't wobble about like a drunk uncle at a wedding and can cut plastic, soft aluminum, wood, acrylic, PVC, and PCBs, basically everything softer than the Queen's Corgis, and UL approved power adapter with out of the box support for a drop in 20,000 RPM spindle that's properly fast like hair dryer in a tornado fast and uses grbl software running on arduino dependable open source and backed by more online support than a dodgy pyramid scheme and comes with carveco maker cam design software and candle controller software so you're not stuck using ms paint and hope and optional y-axis extension kit and spoil boards also available because who doesn't secretly want to supersize their cnc machine so who's it for? Well, this is ideal for hobbyists, DIYers, or professionals who want a reliable, versatile CNC router without selling a kidney. Perfect if you want to carve, mill, or engrave with precision, or if you just want to watch a small robot do all the bloody work while you sip tea and feel superior. The next one is my recommendation for the best for safety features. It's the CNC Top Bouse Upgraded 3018 Pro. So quite the mouthful, this one. This little devil is like the Jemitsu's rebellious cousin who shows up to family dinners wearing sunglasses and whispering about emergency stop buttons like it's a Bond movie. It's sleek, sturdy, and unapologetically orange in parts, because why not? And it's designed with beginners in mind, but still robust enough to make you feel like a proper wizard of wood, metal, or whatever else you fancy engraving without burning the house down. Key features includes an e-stop button and limit switches, so if things go sideways, you can slam that button like you're defusing a bomb. Y-axis sides upgraded to orange resin boards, outer frame in resin, workbench in aluminum, screws in stainless steel, like a fancy cocktail of materials that won't judge you, and a compact working area, 300 by 180 by 45 millimeters, perfect for desktop projects and people who don't live in a warehouse. Sturdy 775 spindle motor spinning up to 10,000 RPM, so fast enough to shave a squirrel mid-jump. Don't actually do that. And enhanced GRBL control board with ports for emergency stops, probes, and limit switches, and a fan for heat dissipation because even machines get sweaty under pressure and comes with a four gigabyte USB flash drive full of instructions, GRBL software and tutorials. So even your Nan could set it up if she stopped playing bingo long enough and engraves plastics, leathers, acrylics, PVC, PCBs, wood, soft metals like copper, brass and aluminum, plus with a spindle swap, even paper, wallets and rubber. So who's it for? Well, this one is brilliant for hobbyists, beginners, or anyone who values safety and precision without turning their home into a bloody machine shop. It's for people who want to craft beautiful, delicate work while occasionally pressing big red buttons and feeling like a hero in Die Hard. The next one is my recommendation for the best heavy duty woodworking option. It's the Ouyang TTC 450 Pro. So a big lad with a name that sounds like a password your dad would forget immediately. This is not your dainty little desktop toy. It's a full on all aluminum beast that weighs about as much as a very annoyed badger. Designed for serious woodworking, it's got upgrades coming out of every orifice, thicker plates, bigger area, more torque, and it comes partially assembled so you don't have to spend your entire weekend swearing at tiny screws and questioning your life choices. 
Key features, fully upgraded XYZ limit switches for safer operation so you don't accidentally carve a hole through your table and into your self-esteem. X-axis CNC plate beefed up to eight millimeter thickness because nobody likes a floppy plate and supports fourth axis rotary module, 500 watt spindle, a trimmer router, and even a 20 watt laser module, basically the Swiss army knife of CNCs, but without that weird little toothpick no one uses. Main parts pre-assembled with step-by-step -step guide, allegedly just 30 minutes to build this, though add an hour if you're prone to shouting at inanimate objects. And all aluminum frame weighing in at 20 kg, more stable than my last three relationships combined. And upgraded X-axis motor with more torque for smooth, stable, and unapologetic cutting power. A large working area, 18.1 inch by 18.1 inch by 3.14 inch, so big enough to handle all your daily woodworking without making you feel like you're carving in a shoebox. And works with GRBL software and runs on Windows, XP through 10, and even Mac OS, which is shocking because nothing usually works on Mac. And can engrave everything from wood and brass to leather, nylon, carbon fiber, and PVC, basically everything short of your landlord's car. So who's it for? Well, this machine is perfect for woodworkers, makers, and serious DIYs who want a sturdy, versatile CNC that can tackle just about anything you throw at it, short of a brick, maybe. Best for people who like their tools, strong, stable, and capable of making them feel like the king or queen of the shed. The next one is my recommendation for the best for power and precision. It's the Fox Alien Masuta 3S. So even the name sounds like a spaceship piloted by someone who drinks oat milk and judges you for it. Uh, this machine isn't just a CNC router, it's really a statement. A chunky metal clad statement that says I've got torque and I'm not afraid to use it. With a 400 watt spindle and closed loop stepper motors, it's the kind of gear that makes other routers sit quietly in the corner and rethink their life choices. Key features. NEMA 23 to 76 closed loop stepper motors with 2.2 Nm of torque. So powerful it could probably bench press a hedgehog and moves up to 10,000 millimeters a minute. Faster than my neighbor legging it when rent is due and built with 2,360 millimeter extrusions, dual HG15 linear rails and a T12 lead screw which in plain English means rock solid stability and a 0.05 millimeter accuracy. 400 watt spindle with a 65 millimeter clamp, perfect for engraving wood, acrylic, and even soft metals like aluminum without breaking a sweat. And new controller box with dust proof construction, shortcut buttons, and offline support. Basically the cockpit of a very polite fighter jet. And steel wheels, pulley system, and extra base frame supports, making it smooth, quiet, and less wobbly than a jelly at a rave. And spacious 15.75 by 15.75 by 3.74 inch work area with an optional X-axis extension kit for when you're feeling extra ambitious. So who's it for? Well, this beast is for serious makers who want power, precision, and a CNC machine that looks like it could survive the apocalypse. Ideal if you enjoy cutting through wood, acrylic, or aluminum like a hot knife through butter while muttering bloody marvelous to yourself in the garage. The next one is my recommendation for the best compact option. It's the CNC Top Bows 3018 Pro Max. So, rolls off the tongue, that one, doesn't it? Like a name your nan would give her cat. This one's a tidy, lightweight little brute, perfect for beginners who wanna dip a toe into CNC without their desk collapsing under the weight. And it comes with an offline controller, so you don't need to chain it to your computer like some sort of clingy X. It's compact, capable, and looks like it could win a fight with a loaf of bread and probably your patience. Key features, compact and portable, so light you could probably carry it under one arm while flipping the kettle on with the other. Comes with an offline controller with SD card slot so you can engrave your masterpiece without the need for a PC breathing down your neck. And manual controls to adjust XYZ axis and spindle directly. It's basically a remote control for your creativity and your chaos. Working area of 30 by 18 by 4.5 centimeters, just enough space to make something lovely without needing planning permission. Supports Windows XP through 10 and also Linux. Finally, something that doesn't judge your choice of operating system, and 775 spindle motor or 120 watt with ER11 Colette, 
runs up to 10,000 RPM, so fast enough to make your eyebrows twitch, and supports engraving on plastics, wood, acrylic, PVC, and PCBs, soft metals like copper and aluminum, plus with a spindle swap, even paper, leather, and more. Basically anything that sits still long enough and comes with a USB drive loaded with GRBL software, instructions, and a faint whiff of smugness for being plug and play. So who's it for? Well, this little number is perfect for beginners, hobbyists, or anyone who likes their tools cute, controllable, and slightly more reliable than their dating history. If you want to start engraving straight out of the box and occasionally look heroic while pressing an emergency stop button, this one is for you. All right, so those are my recommendations. Hopefully there's something on that list for you, but if you have any questions, drop them down below. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.